Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make third-person sword combat in Godot 4. I will show you how to attach a sword model to your character's arm using a bone attachment so it will follow your character's arm as it animates, as well as how to get the sword to damage an enemy during the attack animation. I already have a simple character controller set up to move the character. You can learn how to create one in this video. First of all, we will create a folder for animations. Then we will go to the model and double click it to bring up the advanced import settings. From here we will click on each of the animations. Check enabled on save to file. Select the animations folder and give the animation a name. We can now add another animation player and name it Animation Player Changeable. We will click on this player, click Animation, then Manage Animations. From there we can click Add Library and give a name to our library. From there we can click on the folder and add in the animations. We need to add the animation this way to a second animation player. Because in Godot 4, when you add modifications to the animations in the first animation player, you cannot save them. We will change the animation tree to use this animation player and use this animation player's animations. If you have not used an animation tree before, it is a way to smoothly transition from one animation to another. You can learn how to create an animation tree in this video. You do not have to do this part and could change your animations using the animation player in your code in the appropriate places, but the transitions will make your character's movement look nicer. We will go to the project settings, and under the input map tab, we will add a new action called attack, and select inputs for it. In the animation tree, we will add another input for movements, and name it attack. We will select Add Node, then Animation, then hook it up to the Attack, and add the Attack animation. In the character script, under the Movement Code, we will add if input is action just pressed Attack, and is on floor, and under here, we will change the animation to attack. We will add a variable is attacking to our script. When the player presses attack, is attacking will be true. We will add if is attacking before our code to change the animations to walk or idle, and to our code to move the character, so the character will not move while attacking. We will add a function set attacking false, which we will call from the animation when the animation is finished. Next, we will add a Bone Attachment 3D as a child of the Skeleton 3D. We will right-click the sword model and create an inherited scene from it and save it. We 
You will select the left hand bone, which is the hand holding the sword for the character's animations. You will right click, instantiate a child scene, and select our sword. We'll move the sword into position, and now we can see that the sword moves with the hand. Next, we need to add an area in collision shape as a child of the bone attachment. We will adjust the collision shape where we want it. Next, we will select this collision shape and select Disabled. With the attack animation selected, we will click the key to key this in as an animation frame and enable it when we want the sword to do damage during the animation. Finally, we will click Add Track, then call Method, then call the Set Attacking False method we created at the end of the animation. Finally, we will connect the on body entered signal of this area. If the body is in the enemy group, we will have the body take damage. We could also add an amount, so a certain amount could be taken with the hit. Next, we will add the ghost enemy to the group enemy and give it this take damage method. We will keep it simple and just make it cube free. But you could have a certain amount of health get subtracted have particles emit, a sound play, and have a short timer to cue free after the sound is played. And now we have added a sword to our character and he can kill enemies with it. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.